Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a haul video to share with you and it's pretty big. So this is just going to be one of them, <laughs> but it's from my trip to Utah when I went for um, Country Craft Creations Grand Opening a couple weeks ago and I'm just now getting the time to film the video. Plus, I... Okay, yeah, I have a problem. I have a problem, period. <laughs> but I really have a problem with ribbon. And I went to all these craft stores because they have a lot of craft stores in Utah. We barely have any more in Washington State. But um, I love ribbon. One, I love ribbon that's hard to find. That's not, you know, in every store you go to. I like different ribbon. Um, so I just, yeah, went crazy. So I'm just going to show you. And it took me forever to roll all this up. Um, I literally had a mound of ribbon on my table that was loose. But like, for example, this is one, the sheer, I love with the trim on the side. And I just have it paper clipped for now. If anyone has great storage, um, ideas, I'm just going to set this down. Um, for loose ribbon, please let me know, because I tried finding, like, empty spools, and, yeah, it's really hard to find it. And I don't, I did order, so I have the little cardboard pieces coming, but I really hate when you do ribbon on a piece of cardboard, because then it creates a crease when you go to unwrap it, and I hate that, so... I've got some though, they're coming just in case. Oh my gosh, I love this orange one. Why did I put the tip the very far? Just look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, and it's so bright and colorful. So I got this style here. I don't even know all the places I went to. I, I'm not joking when I say, I know I went to, is it Pebbles in my pocket? which is like an Echo Park Cartabella store that has tons of ribbon. Um, I think I went to, ooh, what is it called? Yeah, don't remember. I think it was like Creative, Creative something, but it was like a quilting store, half craft store, or like scrapbook store. It had a lot of fun stuff. Um, but I thought this was cute how they did this little twine and it was all hung up. But I got these fun colors here. This is all just some, um, what is this called? It's not a sheer, it's not a, is it a satin? I don't remember, but I do love this. And this one has a little bit of a crinkle. These are just, oh my gosh, they're so soft. And then I got some minis. So there are those. I don't even know where to put these. <laughs> I don't have room for all this ribbon. Okay, then I just, I went a little crazy. So I'm first gonna show you these. So I did order from Amazon. I think they're meant for um, wire. So I ordered these plastic ones that fit like the three eighths, but if you have a lot of ribbon, and I think this might be like five yards that I bought of this one, you could see that it doesn't give you a lot of room because I think it's meant for wire, um, but it worked good enough. And I needed I needed something. So again, if you guys have any uh, ribbon storage ideas, let me know. But yes, I went a little crazy. One, I was looking for Halloween. I needed more Halloween, like orange um, colors and then Christmas colors. And then I just, you know, if I find something I like, I get it. So this one is kind of two-toned, which I like. This one is um, kind of an old school looking ribbon, but I like it. And it has like a little sliver of purple in there. And then, of course, some red and black ones. I love when May, with May Arts. This one's probably May Arts too. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sorry. But I love these kind of two-toned ones. And then you have this. I love this. This one's more like a more burgundy color. It's really pretty. And 
then we have these. I did not have a good um, Kelly Green, so I wanted that. Again, just for Halloween purposes. Halloween, of course, and it's a really skinny one, which I like for the mini minis or the micros. Then you have these here. Just I'm telling you, these are just random colors. And this one I like because it has um, the two-tone where it's black on the other side. And then I have a chocolate brown with silver skinny. I loved this like twine that I found, but it's kind of, um, it's more like a paper feel to it. Not quite paper, but it feels like that. But it's this kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a grayish purple. And then I have a small, you cannot see that. So a really thin uh, sheer in black. And I don't know, this is probably really boring for you guys if you don't like ribbon the way I do. <laughs> I just like having, you know, options, options, options. I found this one, really pretty orange. And this is not necessarily the spool it came with. I tried to, if I buy all of something, I asked them to give me the spool. And then I just have to rewrap all of them. I have this chocolate brown. There's this blue color. I love this. Oh my gosh. I love this green and red one for the more traditional vintage Christmas. And of course, a small um, orange and black check. And then um, this one here. What is that? It's not herringbone. Is it? Her no. Oh my gosh. I can't think of what that print is called when it does it like a fishtail. Um, okay, so there, I think, let me just look, oh, and I did get just a little bit of this one, it was all they had left, but I liked it for, again, the vintage Christmas, and I mainly got it to go with Country Craft Creations, um, oh my gosh, I just went blank, Cheers, I think it's their Christmas collection, it's called Cheers? No, that sounds weird, but I'll put it in the description box, that is, if I remember to do that. <laughs> I'd say that and then I forget it sometimes. I have so many videos for you guys before I leave for Country Craft Creations Retreat. So I'm trying to knock these out all today because I have packing to do and I still have a little bit of work I got to do before I leave. Okay, so then I also went to, I don't even know, um, this was somewhere in... Ugh, Payson? Is there, is there a city called Payson in Utah? But that's where I got some of the ribbon to um, store in Payson. And I love, if you do not know, I love bingo cards. I just think they're so cute. So I just got that to go with my like military slash 4th of July kind of box of scrapbook paper. And then I think I don't even know where I got this. Where did I get this? I have no idea which one I got it at. And I got this. This was definitely at um, Pebbles. I think it's Pebbles in my pocket, but look, $1.49. And I got it just specifically for the anchor. This one for $1.49. Little die. I grabbed this, not that I think I'll ever use it, but I like the little, I like the sayings in it. I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of blurry, but it's our happy place. And then if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. Um, there's no place like home. So I just thought these were cute little sayings to put on something if I gift somebody a, a project, you know, if they buy a new home or something. And then I have this collection and again, I don't know that I'll use this because it takes a lot of work to get Alice put together <laughs> and I'm lazy, but it was so cheap. I don't even know. $2.49. I had to do it. Just, you know, I had to do it. It was all clearance. And then I think the rest of this is from Simple Stories in Utah. And I just kind of went to town, but all these things were like either 25 cents or 75 cents. Um, I think, I don't even, oh, maybe the, 
maybe these were a dollar. I know the paper was 25 cents and then there's like a, some sticker things that were 75. Maybe these were a dollar, I don't remember. But everything was under a dollar, let me just say that. So I think I have this collection, but if not, I have several that it still will go with and I thought that would make like cute cards. Um, and then I, I do have this collection and they have another one that was very similar that I have as well. So I'm just adding this sticker pack to it, but you get all that in there and those cute little sayings. Oh, let me make sure I'm talking loud enough this time because everyone says I've been a little quiet. Um, I, I don't know why I bought the stencils, but they were cheap. <laughs> so I got them. I don't know what I would do with this, but I liked it. Thought it was cute. There was a clock one. I have this one already, um, but I got that for a friend. And then there was this one. Okay, stay with me. It's gonna take a minute. And then I got this, and literally this was either a dollar or less. So I do have this collection, love it. Got the frames for Make It Merry. Jingle All The Way, Winter Cottage. I'm trying to speed up a little bit. I got these. I think these sticker, you know, these were the 75 cents. Um, but I have this collection. And again, look at everything you get in it. And I, I mostly love like the little um, phrases and little sentiments there. And I got this to go with Jingle All The Way, which I do have one, but again, it was cheap. Got to do it. <laughs> this one here. And now let's get into kind of the bigger things. Well, let's see, we have this too. So I grabbed some of these, Simple Vintage Coastal, which I do have the collection and haven't been able to use yet. You know, again, you guys, this is just, you know, for when I retire, I will be set. And if I don't have any more money, I don't have to worry about it because <laughs> I will have plenty to work with. So this is a sticker sheet by Let's Go. You guys know I don't even know how to use the sticker sheets, but I had to do it. Spooky Nights. I have this collection, of course, and I got two of those. And this one's just so pretty. But it's simple vintage, vintage C's. So I had to get it. I have no idea how to use these banner ones, but they're adorable. So I had to grab it. I keep trying to think how I want to use these. And I don't know yet. I know like it's probably made for like a 12 by 12 layout, maybe. But what do you guys use it for? I just think they're adorable. Okay, and then I'm just gonna show you some basic pieces. So I love, if you don't know, I do like getting their, what is in there that's not, their um, solid cardstock to go with the collection. So this is just the same thing, just flipped over. So I got it for the green, but it's Simple Vintage North Pole Collection, which I do have, but it also goes with several other collections. And I love having that, so I know that it's a good match for Simple Stories. And, let's see, I found these goodies here. So there was this one for um, Holly Days. Haven't been able to play with this collection yet. <laughs> I have several that I haven't been able to play with yet. And then I have this collection. And I, I mean, I really have to hurry and do these videos because my room is a mess because I have the stuff waiting out to do videos. And I just need to put everything away. So this is Jingle All The Way. And reminder, 25 cents a sheet. But I got all these sheets for this side. I love this side, so I got that. I have no idea why I even got some of these. Like, just in case I need them. I don't know, because I'm not doing any Jungle Books anytime soon. So this is Into the Wild. I just thought those were cute. The elephant with the rhino. And hippo. Yes, and hippo. 
And then I was able to score just a couple of these. They didn't have much in their bin for the simple vintage, vintage C's. This one here. So we have that. And then this is Let Go, or Let's Go. So I like these little license plates, but there is the back. Thought that was cute. These would be cute to make like little um, planner paper clips. Not that I've made those before, but I think that would be really cute. And then again, same collection with the cut aparts. So I can make some cards or a little folio. Simple vintage lakeside. Again, another solid that would go with any. Oh, and I didn't notice I got this one too from Vintage C. So I don't have this collection yet. <laughs> Eventually I will. But I could easily make a folio just out of the few sheets that I got. You guys know that your girl can stretch a collection. So I have, you know, some solids. I have some patterns. But it just takes like a few sheets to make a collection. And then I got um, this Happily Ever After. I don't really like the back. I got it for this side. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Here is another one. The cut apart. Again, grabbed it for the cut apart. Already showed this one. These are so pretty with the gold foil. If you're doing a 12 by 12. And then here is the back. And then I grabbed these three that is with that same collection. Happily, did I say that? Are they all the same? Let me make sure. Some were different. Yeah, happily ever after. So I grabbed this one for the um, print. So it's a minty green if you can't see on the camera because it looks to me a little weird. Um, but I love this little mini polka dot. And then there is the back side if I wanted to use any of those cut apart. And I grabbed some extra Boho Baby, which I love that collection. I need to make something else with it. And I love it because you could do girl or boy with this collection. And you guys have seen me share this before, I'm sure. But I love this one with the flowers. Got this one for the stripes because I'm not a fan of the back, but I like the stripe. And then I scored some more of my Valentine. I do have this collection, and I just keep when I find more pieces, I hoard it. I don't know why, but I love it. Okay, so I think that is everything. Let me just double check because I have so much stuff everywhere. Okay, so that is it from my, literally my road trip around Utah. Um, I do have next will be a country craft creations haul from the same trip from the grand opening. So stay tuned for that one too. Um, I do have a, f a few haul videos again, so just prepare yourself. <sighs> okay. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do. So that way you can see future hauls and also the projects that I make with them. Thanks for watching. Bye.